You know, they fought for our freedom, and now it is our turn to give back to them. Tonight, homeless veterans in Baltimore got help from some pretty unexpected visitors. Yeah, WMAR 2 News' Aaron McPherson was at the Baltimore station for dinner tonight and found out who tonight's volunteers were. <laughs> volunteers prepare to serve homeless veterans. Yep, got a salad on it. Fresh spaghetti, cookies and bread made from scratch. The servers and chefs all blind. We're just like everyone else. We just happen to do things differently. Nikki Jackson is the job readiness instructor from BISM, the blind services and industries of Maryland, where all these volunteers are from. Okay. Be careful, OK? Right. And the window's directly in front. And they okay. just talk to them, right. say hi. Their core program teaches non-visual skills to blind adults. Some students are partially blind. That's why they have their eyes covered to prepare for when their vision completely goes away. The skills that they learn during their time and training, they can transfer them out into the real world in a real job setting. To show them like, hey, just because you're blind doesn't mean you can't be a contributing and participating, um, you know, participate in your own community and just do things that everyone else does. Each one working to be independent and to better themselves, just like the veterans they're serving. They're young. You know, and the way they lost their eyesight was amazing how none of them didn't really fall to the wayside. Frank Holland is an Army veteran who respects these students and understands working to overcome a hard time. And see your eyesight going away, you know, and just like you be sitting in a combat and you see your friend, you know, get blown away, you know. That's a very uh, traumatic experience to have right there. These veterans happy to meet the students, grateful for their time, and impressed by their skills. You got this, though. You guys got it. You guys are awesome. In Baltimore, Aaron McPherson, WMAR 2 News. Yeah, what a great story, huh? What a story, huh? All right.